Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. I thought I'd go ahead and do some, a bit of investigating on Radiant and if there's potentially a ASIC on the network already. And I'm gonna have to say just right now, I don't think there's a Radiant ASIC on the network right now. It's just a bunch of FPGAs. I'm gonna go through a bunch of hash rates that currently are capable on certain FPGAs. And as well as I wanna go through and look at Humpool, okay, and their top workers currently. I have about four to five terahash of wallet addresses that have a significant amount of radiant hash rate on this mining pool. And also correlating that this pool has already been mining for more than, I think, more than a couple of weeks already. And I know that this pool was showing up on mining pool stats maybe the second week or third week of January of this month. Okay, and thank you to uh, MindSum10 for pointing that out. I thought I would just go through a little bit here. Um, he posted on January 22nd, 2024, the January 29th as of recording this video. So I'm just looking through some information here that some of these wallet addresses have been mining since, I think, January 9th. Uh, this one's January 15th. Uh, some of them here started January 9th, uh, January 15th. Uh, let me let me keep going down here. I want to show you guys January 16th. OK, there's another one here. 15th. OK, now I'm being I'm, looks like I'm lying to you guys. 15th. Nope. Uh, I think it was the last one here. 9th. There you go. January 9th. This wallet address has been mining Radiant since January 9th on Humpool. All right. So I'm, I'm going to talk with you guys here. We're just going to speculate here what types of miners these are, uh, whether or not they're ASICs or FPGAs. Just disclaimer, I, I think they're all FPGAs. Maybe, you know, cumulative of GPUs as well. Could be GPU rigs. Who knows? But I don't think they are ASICs yet. As we all know, Radiant is prone to have ASICs. I mean, the natural progression here has been GPUs, FPGAs, notably the E300s, Superscalar K10s can mine Radiant, FK33s and whatnot, and then eventual ASIC. But I don't think we are, we don't have an ASIC on the network yet, just judging by, you know, difficulty, profitability, and just the numbers that I've seen on Humpool for the top wallet addresses, which if anyone's wondering, I just did like reverse lookup of the Humpool address and then just looked at, you know, the typical wallet addresses that were getting like tons of radiance. Okay, so that's how I like looked at this and reverse looked up the worker addresses essentially for all of these addresses that have a significant amount of radiant hash rate. Okay, so let me go through this further right after a word from today's video sponsor. CoinMiningCentral.com Based in the United Kingdom, Coin Mining Central has been in business for over five years as one of the top leading suppliers of crypto mining hardware and cryptocurrency related products with free worldwide shipping. They have competitive pricing and offer secure and tracked delivery for peace of mind. Secure and encrypted payment options using numerous cryptocurrencies and bank wire transfers, account management management for your orders, professional customer support, and even bulk ASIC miner deals in which all new miners come with a manufacturer warranty. Check out coinminingcentral.com today and use code RPM for $135 USD off each product order. Links in the video description below. Okay, so this whole thing started off, thank you to MindSum10, Mind something. he did a tweet uh, on X and we saw here that Humpool, okay, had a pretty big jump here. He posted this on January 22nd, 2024. So I'm assuming this is this would be the same day or maybe January 21st around there. Find something if you see this video, man, you can comment down below. But I think around there that it was starting to show up on miningpoolstats.stream, right? So looking at that, that is a significant amount of hash rate, right? 5.64 tera hash or so now. Okay, Humpool has over 12.76 terahash, which is quite a bit and has steadily been climbing since January 22nd. It was, uh, yeah, 6.6 .6 terahash and then January 24th, was 7 terahash and then 26th was 9 and then so on and so forth. It kept going up. Now it's around 12 terahash on this mining pool. So looking at that, okay, just looking how... If everyone's maybe looking at uh, maybe hashrate.no when you go to FPGAs or even ASICs, you know, you're not going to see Radiant here. They're not updated uh, on these lists. But 
a lot of these FPGAs, including the Osprey E300, uh, Superscalar K10, uh, they can mine Radiant. Okay, they have the bit streams on these. Okay, so Radiant shows up here. Uh, 32 giga hash for the Superscalar. Um, I know some of them do 27. I've heard reports. Uh, E300 does around 11 to 12 uh, giga hash, but depending on the overclock um, on the model and how you overclock them, you get varying hash rates. Okay, so the E300, uh, which has three VU35P FPGAs, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a FPGA person, but I'm just saying here. Okay, so depending on how you overclock them, undervolt them, you can get varying hash rates. Okay, they pretty really vary here. 7.2 giga hash to 10.89 okay and then there's also the e100 which i believe is just a single vu 35p um this does around uh 3.6 giga hash and i'm assuming you can undervolt and overclock as well so the hash rate could vary amongst this uh, hash rate here okay so just giving you guys a bit of this understanding here the type of hash rate that these fpgas can achieve the xilinx varium c1100 probably another prominent uh, FPGA. I'm assuming this can mine Radiant. I know that there's been bitstreams available um, in the FPGA Discord, maybe the Zethron Discord. The Squirrel uh, FK33 can also mine Radiant. This has already been available for a long time now. I personally have not tried it. So just think about, you know, how many of these FK33s, C1100s, um, E300s, or K10s that are out there, you know, that can mine Radiant, that already have support, already have the bitstreams. Uh, for uh, mining radiant okay just to have that perspective there that you know right now the hash rate hasn't you know difficulty of radiant radiant hasn't been as was it was before and now it's you know hovering around half of what it was in september 5th of 2023 which would be more so a lot of gpus in my opinion because if you look at the price of radiant it pretty much corresponds with um, right here uh, when radiant was really more so uh, profitable during these times and you know over here we had big jumps in, in price and so profitability was also really good on gpus during that time so the difficulty that's why it was much more prominent in previous history here but now that we're hovering around it's not like what it used to be back in like april okay so you can see the difficulty has been uh dropping quite a bit and i mean hash rate as well if you look at here hash rate has been uh going down here okay so just to give that perspective there so with all that in mind okay i just want to do some theoretical here just just real quick before we go through the transactions on the certain uh wallet addresses on humpool okay just so looking at uh humpool here so let's just say six terahash okay what uh mine something here had uh the big jump of 4.6 let's just say you know six terahash so what if we looked at the E300? How many E300s would it take to achieve 6 terahash? Well, let's just say roughly about 12, 11, 10 giga hash. Okay, so 10 giga hash, if we put that in the calculator, 10 giga hash would be 0 0.01 of a terahash. So if we go to the calculator, we do uh, 6 terahash divided by 0 0.01 of a terahash, which would be 1 E300. So that could be potentially 600 of these e300s okay just i'm just trying to put in perspective there and then you know what if we did uh one e100 you know this view 35p this would be about 3.6 giga hash okay so 0 0.36 giga hash uh 3.6 would be 0 0.00 of a tera hash okay so just doing simple math here six tera hash divided by one e100 that'd be about 15 1600 of these e100s okay to achieve six terahash on the radiant network i forgot to mention okay uh like a gpu for instance let's say a 3090 can achieve about what i think 1.1 giga hash i can show you guys right here 1.1 giga hash on a 3090 on a typical rtx 3090 so the hash rate gain from like a single 3090 to a fpga like a e100 or a e300 whatever you know, it's it's not too far. It's not too far away. Okay, so 1.1 to 3.6. It is a big jump. Um, obviously the power consumption is going to be a lot more efficient on the FPGA, right? And then natural progression is going to be an ASIC after. So I'm just giving you guys yeah perspective there. Okay, so yeah, I don't think it's an ASIC yet, but we're probably heading there if Bitmain or Ice River or whoever is going to come out with an FPGA. Now there was uh, just a quick thing. There was a rumor um, from Whitefire. Uh, he on the Zetherin Discord here. He says, "I wonder 
uh, if it's not a custom ASIC, but rather a farm of Baikal Giant X10s uh, with hacked firmware, which could theoretically mine Radiant. Um, he's a prominent uh, FPGA Bitstream developer. I have no idea if that's the case, but these Baikal units were coming out maybe four or five years ago, uh, six years ago. Uh, Baikal X, I think this is the one he was talking about, X10. Th this one can mine a lot of different algorithms. Um, so, so I'm assuming this is some type of FPGA. Uh, so if this can be hacked in some way and someone came out with a firmware update or new BIOS, whatever, to mine Radiant on one of these, who knows? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whitefire is a lot smarter than I am when it comes to FPGAs. So that could be another thing. Anyways, let's go through now the transactions, uh, the workers. How many workers are on Humpool? Okay, so here is a prominent Radiant address that is mining on Humpool right now. Biggest workers on Humpool. So this guy has 701 giga hash. Okay, so 701 giga hash is 0.7 of a tera hash. So it needs 300 a point three more or 300 giga hash more to achieve a tera hash so this worker here alone almost almost there he's almost there to a tera hash. so just a big worker okay this is a huge worker anyways going down online he's got 63 workers all right 63 workers okay so looking at this all right this you know this potentially could be i'm i'm just putting it out there this could be maybe six RTX 3090s. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Just right. I'm just putting out there. This guy could have a buttload of 3090s. All right. So, if, you know, a 3090 can achieve 1.1 giga hash, right? So this guy, 63 workers. So 63 uh, times, let's say, uh, six 3090s each. Right? That'd be about 378 3090s. All right. Could not too far fetched. 378 3090s. Or could be 3070s, which I think gets point. 7.7 7, uh, 7 of a giga hash uh, on a 3070. You guys understand what I'm getting at, but maybe these could be FPGAs. So I don't think these are the E300s unless these were massively underclocked somehow. Um, could be, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it could be having, maybe this guy could have a E200. Uh, maybe have two VU 35Ps. I don't even know if a E200 exists because I know E300, E100, E300. I'm not quite sure on that. I don't know if you can add like maybe just two hash boards, two VU 35, 33Ps to achieve whatever this guy has, six giga hash averaging here. He's got a lot of workers, right? Uh, 63 workers with about six giga hash uh, worth of hash rate. So whether or not these are just GPU rigs with 3090s or FPGAs, I'm not quite sure. But looking at the payouts here, okay, he's getting a lot of radiant a day. Okay, so huh, let's see here. The 29th, he got about what 35,000 radiant. But if you look at the first day when he first started, this was on the 15th. And then mine something posted on Twitter here that this this hash rate came about on January 22nd or 21st. So this guy with this much hash rate joined the pool way before it even showed up on mining pool stats, like a week, a week before. All right. So this guy must know or be the pool operator of Humpool. I don't I'm not quite sure who knows. Um, so yeah, this guy was already mining. All right. So this is just one example. Now let's go to the next worker address. Another worker address was 700 giga hash. Okay. Th this is different looking at the wall addresses there. A lot of hash rate here. 1.8 million total paid radiant. Okay. Now looking at the names. Okay. Judging by the worker names here, this guy has 69 online. Now these are all just 3070s. <laughs> yeah, he even has the names here. 6 by 3070s. So this guy's getting 6.3 giga hash, 7.335 giga hash, uh, 6.79, 7.14. So these are obviously all GPUs. Obviously, they're named that way unless he's faking it and they could be all E300s that can achieve 7 to 8 giga hash, whatever. Um, silicon lottery. But I'm assuming, yes, these are all GPUs. Looking at the list here, uh, scrolling to each number, they're all 3070s. So this guy has 69 workers. And so if we did here, uh, six by 3070s, I just realized here, six by 30, what does a 3070 do on uh, Radiant? Uh, let's just go here, 3070. Okay, let's go to uh, Radiant down here. Anyone can look this up. Radiant, 712 mega hash. 
So I'm now this is where I'm a little bit confused a little bit um, unless he's running this thing. Uh, he's running all these GPUs stock or maybe has eight 3070s per rig. Okay, so if I did eight say times 0.713 right of a giga hash, that'd be five points. So this doesn't this doesn't add up yet. This doesn't add up at all actually 0.7 times let's say 12 uh, 3070s, 8.5 giga hash. So 6.3 divided by 6 3070s, that would be 1.05 of a giga hash. So maybe he's running these stock. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, or he's faking it and they're not actually 3070s. They're all FPGAs. I don't know. I don't know. But there's 69 workers here. You guys let me know. But looking at his payouts here, his first payout started on the 15th okay, of January. So way before, a week before, um the mining pool stats uh showing there so okay so that's another massive miner so must be gpus okay next big worker 571 giga hash this guy is all dom s76 so i this could be gpus um he's got 90 workers here a lot of them are just three five giga hash uh, some of these are five giga hash um three giga hash so all varying right all varying workers but he's got about 90. so whether or not uh, these could be a bunch of uh, E300s or uh, E100s, uh, E100s, FPGAs. These ones can achieve, again, 3.6 giga hash. So I don't think this one is a FPG. Uh, I don't know, E300. But I'm going to say probably GPUs. A lot, of, a lot of GPUs. But this guy also started on January 15th. Okay. Just realize here, uh, is that the same time? Pretty much, pretty much the same time as all these other guys here previously. But I do want to get to that one worker that started on the ninth, okay, like I talked about in the beginning. Okay, next worker, 547 giga hash, 88 online, 88 workers. Right? These are called BV489. Okay, again, I don't know if these are FPGAs, uh, most likely maybe GPUs, but there's 88 here. And uh, actually, one thing I forgot to talk about is you guys remember with Caspa mining. Okay, a lot of these FPGAs were mining Caspa. Okay, it was a good, maybe good couple months, six months of FPGA mining where these were really, really profitable. And these were able to achieve, you know, four to 4.5 giga hash, right? So with Radiant, okay, the Osprey E300, if this can achieve 14 on Caspa, uh, the E300 can achieve 11 or uh, 10 giga hash on Caspa. So these guys, the Xilinx C1100s, TH53s can achieve, you know, two, maybe 1.5 of a giga hash here. All right. So just to put that out there. Okay. So, but anyways, going back to the wallet addresses here. Okay. So this guy, yep. He's been mining since the 15th as well. First payout, uh, January 15th. Okay. Next one, 302 giga hash. Uh, this guy has 35 online, 34 workers. Now this one is, this one I found interesting. I think th this, this one could be uh that e300 because this is a lot of giga hash here now if these could be underclocked 3090s i don't think so but yeah 35 of these oh no okay so he's got varying hash rates here at the later on or he could have uh newer edge gpus okay i like 40 series cards you know 4090s for instance the 4090 i forgot to mention can do about 3.2 giga hash okay so this is, you know, they could be 4090s. I forgot to mention, I should have mentioned that earlier, not just 3090s or 30 series cards. Uh, but, you know, it's not too far-fetched, not too difficult that these could be 40 series cards uh, mining. Okay, so uh, this one has a, a lot of hash rate. Next wall address, final one, 341 giga hash. This one too also has seven to eight uh, giga hash, not like, uh, you know, super scalar K10, which is like 27 giga hash at 1500 watts. So nothing uh, crazy there. But this one, this is where it gets interesting. This guy started on the 9th, January 9th. Okay. This guy, this guy was getting, this guy was getting a lot of radiant. Look, on the 11th, on January 11th, this one, this guy was getting like hundreds of, 38,000, 38,000, 38, every hour, every hour or two, he was getting 50 to 30,000 radiant. Look at that. The 11th, he probably pocketed like almost 400,000 radiant in that single day. And this guy has 300, 300 giga hash. Wow. Wow. 300 giga hash. Isn't that nuts? 
M25, Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert, are you an FPGA farmer or a GPU farmer or are you the owner of Humpool with 29 workers? When, uh, this, uh, I feel like these could be E300s. Who knows? That's a lot. That's a lot of Radiant. But now, okay, if we go back to the first page, here we are now, these days. He's not get, these days, he's not getting 30,000 every hour or two. He's getting, he's getting like, 10,000, 20,000 radiant per hour or two. So definitely a lot less than what it was before. That's because the difficulty, hash rates rising, of course, on radiant. So yeah, pretty massive, pretty massive. Okay, guys, I went through a lot of different addresses here. You guys let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to say there's no ASICs on the network, but it's gonna be uh, FPGAs and, or just a lot of GPUs still at this point in time. If there's going to be an ASIC coming out for Radiant, I think it would it would probably be a drastic jump. Uh, yeah, like we've seen with, you know, with Caspa, for instance, or maybe Alethium as well. Uh, Alethium, no ASIC for that yet. I think it's that same idea. It's just going to be FPGAs, a lot of FPGAs. If you see the hash rate increase or whatever. Yeah, it's not, we're not at that point yet. I haven't heard from Bitmain directly or Ice River or anyone that that's going to create an ASIC for Alethium or Radiant. I, I don't know if there's enough market cap for that. Right now, Radiant only has about 15, 16 million dollars market cap which is extremely small. So I, I just don't foresee that happening soon. But the natural progression here is that FPGAs are pretty much mining these coins already. Alethium, Radiant, which are prone to having, or they already know since the very beginning to having ASICs due to their algorithm. Okay, that's it, my friends. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys think uh, the same thing. There's no ASICs yet. It's just FPGAs. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.